gotta get me push this whole thing on. So yeah, it's it's not exactly like the an easy thing to slip your foot into. You you have to place your heel into it, and then you have to strap it in two different places. Action, but let me show you something. His foot is still basically flat. You have a little bit of a curve here of his toes. And that's just my middle toes. The, my outer toes are trying to stay flat instead of right. dorsiflexing. So he has almost no curve to his outer toes. I mean, if so he's head. got toes coming on both sides. <laughs> So there's there's no there's no support here. You see, I, a toe here, a toe there. The middle toes are being pulled down. The other toes are hanging up. So these are all the things that you don't really see in the pictures on Amazon or on social media that we just wanted to show you today. You have to have one hand above the other to hold a piece of a piece of rope. So that misalignment that you're seeing right here is going to create strain on his neck and his upper back and his shoulders. Oh. And he's going to give up at some point. It doesn't matter how strong he is. It doesn't matter that he's an elite D1 athlete. His, his grip is going to give up. You know, you lose tug of war, not because the other team is stronger than you, but because the other team holds on longer. And this is a perfect example. And if you look at his hands, you can see they're turning red. He's losing circulation in his hands. And, you know, is he going to die? No, but this is supposed to be stretching. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be relaxing. It's supposed to improve your circulation, not cut it off. This is the first time I've used this. This is the first time I've used the green strap, and they are both awful. I I don't even want to make another video about this because I don't want to use this stuff again.